Hello and welcome. What? Ah. Welcome back to Forts, where we're already starting off with explosions, and, uh, well, today we're gonna be playing around with the BFG mod, not because, well, it's a, it, it's just got, it's just got a brand new update, and it, it actually works. If you guys don't know, there was a mod going around called the BF, BFC mod, actually is what it is, what it is, and it didn't actually work in multiplayer. I got to show it off on stream a little bit, just to show you guys how it worked. But now it actually works in multiplayer. Not only does it work in multiplayer, but it got a full-on upgrade. We have the BFC version 2, and it's got some serious power behind it. You guys thought the first one had a lot of power behind it? This one's got a lot more power behind it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this works out. Like, yes, please. Uh, we have some targets over here. Um, that's, I think, the most accurate. Okay, the base is collapsing, but we have some targets over there. I think that's the most accurate way to describe what they are at this point. Just some randomly selected, uh, whoever clicked to join on the open, open public lobby that I've created here. And it's gonna be a little bit, um, painful for them. And none of them actually had the BFC mod before, so I don't... They all have to download it, so they don't actually know what's coming for them. Usually, I like to find people that have actually played it before, and if they are inexperienced, I'll give them a heads up and some warning. Be like, hey, you know, Forts is a game, and you can get mods, and this mod does this, so this mod does that, and we've got what are you... Okay, your base is collapsing too. Apparently, that's just the theme of this map. I forgot that this base is not terribly designed off the beginning, and trying to, trying to work with it could be a little bit painful. So I'm going to be working up the texture here. Actually, I'm trying to build the wrong one. It's uh, it's actually on the factory. Despite being a cannon, it's not a uh, it's not attached to the to the cannon tech tree. So I got to build these over here. I'm going to be building some turbines here. Oh, if you guys recognize this map, this is the one where you can build across all the bottom. So typically the solution is to just spam out uh, missiles, and it's one of the reasons why this map isn't played very much. But it looks I'm keeping an eye on the enemies here, seeing if they do any kind of missile shenanigans, because I don't want to have to deal with missiles when I'm trying to build cannons, and I know I'm going to have to deal with them because it's this map, and it's just kind of how it works. Uh, but I need more energy. I'm not producing nearly enough energy right now, and we're going to need a lot of it to fuel this cannon. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I just need to sell all of this. Just make it all go away. It's bad. This whole, this whole base design is atrocious, and it makes me want to be sad. Alright, come on, that needs to go down. Let's sell this off. They're not building missiles yet? Yes, they're not building missiles yet. I definitely need a few more of these. Because it costs, just like the Atom Cannon, it costs metal to fund just for its existence. So we're going to have to definitely get some of our production up and going. I am building my turbines back there because they're pretty safe from everything. Uh, looks like it's just hitting wood, so I don't mind. You can kind of ignore your petty harassments. I'm not, oh, actually, I don't want to ignore them. I want to snipe them. Try to take back some of this map control, so let's go like this. Do this. Like so. And keep building up with our 2x2 two two boxes. All nice and neat. Sell this off. And sell this. And sell this. And it's batteries here. We're going to need a lot more of these. Go ahead and build this back down here for some more batteries and some more metal storage, actually. It costs, I think, a thousand metal to fire. And I don't remember how much it costs to place. I can find out. It costs 2,500 metal to place, so I'm gonna need a lot more of these metal storages. And another battery should be enough, I hope, I think. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to place this here. Here we go. Uh, sell this off. Build this across. Like so. There we go. That's what I want to see. Just like this. Build this down, and you match perfectly. Right there. Engineering 101. Planning. Measure twice. Cut once. And I don't know if he had those behind doors. He did. Uh, it's just the starting doors. So I'm going to just put him behind a door and leave him like so. Actually, I don't need to. I like to do this little triangle thing just to cover it up, but we're not going to need that right now. And this is going to look horrifying to anyone who looks at this, because there could be any number of weapons there. Why is this not... Stop 
Stop being wrong. Thank you. Next up, BFC. Oh my god, it costs 30,000 energy to place. I'm gonna need a lot more batteries. I actually have a decent enough energy production. It's the energy storage that's killing me right now. That's 10,000. Is that gonna be? Nope, I need another. At least one more battery. And if I don't wanna suffer, I need to get at least two. Or I should get another one. And one more for good measure. There we go. It would metal storage. Alright, we'll be good. Uh, next up, I need a place to put this. Uh, the biggest problem with the BFC is that it um it has recoil and a lot of recoil. Like probably will destroy my base grade recoil. So I'm gonna be real careful about that, and I'm gonna build it right in the middle here, where it can be safe from all the things shooting at it. And more importantly, my base can be safe from it when it inevitably explodes and takes my base with it. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the, here, this is the BFC. It's uh, like the size of my base. Can it even, it can't even fit here, my god, it's so massive. Um, This is not big enough for it. It needs to be longer. Let's go ahead and place this Right here, is this good enough? This is good enough. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this here. I do wanna cover it up a little bit. But now, next up, we just kinda need to wait to get enough metal to place it down here. Um, I'm still just kinda hoping that it's not gonna self-destruct my base when I fire it. But oh my god, I need another so much, I need so much more metal. Uh, let's double door this. There we go. What is falling and why? What is falling and why? Uh, stuff's falling off the teammate's base. All right, so now this is concerning. This is like someone spamming out swarm missiles. Great concerning. Let's go ahead and put that down. Kind of hope that doesn't take three years to build. Uh, next up, we are going to be defending the living daylights out of our front because I am concerned that they are building swarm missiles and I don't want to deal with them. So I'm going to be having this and I should have built the armory. I'm going to go ahead and start that process of building the armory now while I gun everything up. Just so many guns. You guys notice that I am actually the, uh, I cannot, Pinch Fist! I, I, one of these days I'll remember his name properly without having to think for 30 minutes. Pinch Fist Commander. Mostly because I just want the extra economy. Because that gun takes, what is it, negative 10 metal per second and negative 100 energy per second just for existing. So I don't want to have to pay that much penalty, or at least Pinch Fist helps negate it. And it costs a lot to fire, too. Alright, so we've got a lot of guns, and we can put on some pretty serious pressure with just these guns. Uh, he's double dooring everything here. Alright, uh, there's no way he hasn't seen this already, but I'm gonna cover it up anyways. So, what I'm actually gonna do to help protect my investment here, and by investment I mean the rest of my base, is I'm going to design this to have a point of failure such that when all of this vanishes from getting shot by my own cannon, it uh, won't take out the rest of my base. That's that's the idea here. I'm actually not going to put doors on here because the projectile that comes out of this is so big that it's kind of kind of hard to to not to not get hit by it. So I don't want to hit myself by it, and I'm going to avoid hitting myself by it, with it by not having doors or anything in front of it that I can hit. Hey, isn't that great logic? And it's also going to be largely unprotected. But I think we're going to get it up in time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to door it. Or just solid metal it. Um, yeah. Here we go. Just to keep it safe from things. So in case he decides to shoot me with something before this cannon is ready, then it should be able to take the hit, whatever it is. But I'm going to sell off that metal and sell this off, actually, too. Before we start firing this, because I don't want to have to deal with, well, it getting shot. And I'm so concerned that there are swarm missiles down there, like, oh my god, please don't be swarm missiles. Uh, let's build some flak. Here and here. You get flak. And you get a flak. And everyone gets a flak. Alright, flak. And a flak. Let's get an upgrade center, too. Because we've got all the resources. We're sitting here waiting for metal to... We're literally just sitting here waiting. So I just get to wait for the armor. I've got a lot of defenses going. Snipey's here. He's already on hotkey. He doesn't actually have the greatest 
vantage point. Um, how can I fix this? I should be able to fix this just by sliding him up. Like, all the way up. Just stuff his barrel into this door. There we go. Right there. Much better. Yep. Oh, there goes Snipey. Oh, dear. What timing, eh? At least... Do I want to double do a snipe? Oh, jeez. He's going real deep with this. Good thing we have lots of protections here. Uh, let me get some energy shields, because we have energy for days. What I don't have is snipey. There's energy shields up. We actually lost our factory here, so I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. Way down here. BFC is almost ready. Please stop being on fire. Thank you. Alright, so now we have our energy shields. Good to go. Uh, let's see, what else do we want here? Put another one right here? Yeah. And then some metal across this back segment. Get that all nice and safe. Now that should be good. Next up, waiting for BFC to be finished. I'm going to put Snipey here, though honestly I don't expect him to live. Because those are some pretty uh, precise laser hits. And I, I cannot wait to, to, to show you guys this thing, because this thing's ridiculous, and oh my god, it's taken like so long to build, what? I'm gonna have to probably build a second one too, just to deal with this guy. I'm gonna have like pseudo tier 3 this thing, just to get it to, to work. Oh, he's built, he, oh, he finally placed it, oh, that's real concerning. Like, it's not gonna be finished before mine, so it's not that concerning, like he just placed it. So I think, think we'll be good, but oh jeez. I'm just sitting here with Snipey waiting for uh, waiting for this guy to open up his laser again so I can shoot it. It's Snipey's revenge on that on that laser. If, I mean, if he doesn't want to doesn't want to shoot it in time, I can just kind of you know do this. Get rid of all the things in front of here, and uh, let's go. Let's hope this doesn't blow away my own base. Oh, jeez. Okay, I had only. Only broke a small part of the base, so I think we're gonna be fine. Let's put the metal back. I am definitely going to be manual doing. <laughs> we took out the laser too, Jesus. Okay, so his BFC is right there, so I could snipe it a few times. Uh, notice the hitbox on it is massive, so even if I, it seems to be splashing across nothing, but I am hitting the cannon because it's so big. I don't know how much health it has, other than a lot, because apparently it was that. Uh, let's go ahead and use these to rank them above. There we go. This this is what I should have been doing from the start. There we are. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Nope, that's all. That's all solid. Let's go ahead and get a, get a laser? Get a laser, I suppose, would be a good option here. Let's put this right... Yeah, I don't want to put this anywhere near that cannon. Like, not gonna lie, just, just this guy's almost ready to go again. He's almost ready to go again. Like, I'm legit afraid of putting this anywhere near this cannon. Let's see. Do we want to upgrade a few of these, perhaps? Yeah, let's upgrade a couple of you guys. Have you on destruction duty? When it appears he's not gonna be building swarms, so upgrade a few of you guys already. Let's see, this puts you on a hot key. Uh, key number four. There we go. Let's go ahead and remove him again. And go. Yep, yep, yep. That's uh, that's kind of a lot. Reply with the mini guns. Try to take out his BFG. That thing's taking a lot of hits. Like, it's taking a lot of hits. Come on. Fire everything. There we go. Let's aim you here, 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 aim you there. Snipey was good where he was aimed. You were good where you were aimed. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. Alright, so just fire everything. They don't stop firing. There we go. We want some DACA, we got your bullets. 
Bullets are us, courtesy of the incursion. Now please give me your BFCs. I don't like it being there. There we go. There's no way that thing isn't hurting right now. How much health does it have is my question. As long as I can keep his uh, armor down. Uh, put this back. Come on, come on, come on. At least he's getting slanted armor, so he knows how to do that. Alright, BFC is ready to fire again. And let's just go straight across the top. Oh, whoa! All the way through! Okay, okay, that's kind of a lot. Let's, uh, let's just go. Do some more damage. This is poor core. This is poor, poor core. Uh, let's protect BFC somewhere. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty brutal if I haven't seen so myself. Yep, teammate's trying to come help. Uh, let's put these guys down here, upgrade a few of you. Upgrade you guys, not that I really need more energy production. What I really need is, uh, another BFC. Perhaps faster. Maybe I should have gone with Hurricane for the uh, faster reload time. Right, well, anyways, let's just go ahead and keep keep doing this. Activate commander ability just so I can keep these going because I'm actually running out of energy and stuff. Uh, I think. No. He got me. Oh no! Well, two things happened there. One, I died. Oh, connect to me. Oh, he didn't die. Connect to my base. Do it. Do it, it's still connected. It's still connected. Uh, but his cannon died because the recoil blew itself up. Do it, yes. You have the BF- you have the BFC. Uh, didn't expect it to hit down here and blow me up, but I suppose I should have. You have the BFC. Do it. Uh, it's probably still on cooldown, is it? Might might still be on cooldown. Uh, good thing I have some anti-air here to help out. Uh, it's not much, at least not from that angle. Use the BFC. Do it. Use the BFC. Finish bottom. Do it. You have the power. Or, uh, well, open the metal first. Just convert to BG bracing. There you go. That's not that's not BG bracing. That's foreground bracing. That's foreground bracing. B that's for foreground bracing. There you go. There you go. Now just just don't miss. It's kind of hard to miss. It's a big target. You shouldn't have much in the way of armor left. On, you can do it, 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 do it. All right, all right. I don't, I don't think he's built enough armor yet. Just, just shoot. Just do it. Straight to the core. Oh, and he's gone. Uh, unfortunately, so is this cannon. But that's, that's, oh my god, that's one last to worry about. Alright, so now teammate here has the BFG, to his own BFC. And he does have my production, so he should have a healthy amount here. Um, Kind of concerned. I don't know if his, uh, well, two things. One, his cannon is really close to his core, so that could just be the end of him. Uh, two, it looks like... It's also too far away from these doors to auto-open them. He might have to manually open those doors, which is kind of concerning. Because that's going to be a lot. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got lots of energy shields. Uh, fortunately, you have an energy shield remover. You have an entire base remover right here. 
which is not great. Uh, well, it's good for you, not great for the enemy. But, uh, looks like he was selecting it and opened the door, so it should be ready to fire. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got it. He understands what's going on here. Um, now, I'm just kind of concerned that these doors down here might be too close, and the projectile might hit them and then pass through them and blow up everything that he owns. Oh, God. The ricochet. Just the kinetic force of taking... That was just solid. That was just so much metal there. The kinetic force of taking that hit broke the foundation of his fort. That's kind of a lot, and I really wish I could help out here because... I could really, really help out here. It would be great. <laughs> He's building all the metal back. Uh... Alright, so he's he's doing alright, and he actually didn't blow himself up, so that's that's good. Alright, coming with the laser, go straight across the bottom. Alright, same spot. Oh, he doesn't have much left there. There's nothing but a cannon. Do you have a sniper? Oh, you don't have a sniper, but you have these guns. You could just cut a machine gun, all of that, and there's a sniper. Okay. Well, the cannon will be ready sooner or later, and then he can go continuing all the way through. But this might take a moment. Uh, it looks like there's nothing happening down here. Uh, he's got plenty of... Well, these guns can't really do much. But it's something, at least. He's got lots of economy down here. Oop. Careful with those energy shields. They'll, uh... They'll, they'll get you. Alright. I really should have armored up more across the bottom. Uh, I was actually kind of... I was, I was banking on blowing up his BFC before it was finished. It didn't happen. Probably should have figured that I needed a new plan after I didn't blow it up. But, you know. It is what it is. I'm just still concerned that he's going to manage to blow up his own base. Just by dealing with the recoil of the cannon. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Do it. Alright, yep. Yep, that's a lot gone. That is a lot gone. We're following up the laser, finishing it off. Yep, that's uh, one less weapon for the enemy to have. And a lot less base as well. Just, just the, just the kinetic force rips the base asunder. I need to see this on a larger map. Ah, <laughs> uh, and that's gonna be the end of round one. to round two marked by the explosions and those things make me panic every time like why why is that a thing why must the base explode off the start i need energy more than i need metal right now uh you start off with lots of metal here and i what i really need is energy because we don't start off with lots of energy i should have spent that first bit on turbines let's go ahead and put one here 80 percent efficiency perfect uh, is this better this is 100 percent. start this one and then and move it down here that way we can move on like I'm just waiting for energy right now, so look, we actually have a whole different set of, uh, whole different set of players here. Uh, the first bunch disconnected, which, uh, well, one of them disconnected, and then the new guy that came in needed to download the mods, and he was taking forever, and then everyone left, and it's been a while, but welcome back to round two. We're going to be building the, uh, well, giant gun, and getting rid of this dude in particular. So I think we're going to be doing well here, so go ahead and sell this off to get our technology. I'm actually going to put down the armory, because I'm not going to be going for swarm missiles on this map, despite swarm missiles being the uh, weapon of choice for this map, at least the map synergy. So I think we'll be alright if we just get the armory and try to counter the, all of the swarm missiles that come at us, and then build the BFZ, because I need it in my life. Let's go ahead and sell this. That shouldn't make the base collapse, right? Oh, yep. Yep, that's gone. Alright, well, rip all that metal. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, and this, and we're gonna need a lot of storages. Let's do this, and this, and this, and this, and continue down the storage tree. We're gonna want some more metal. Metal was one of the bigger things you had to wait for, so getting more of it sooner than later would be a good thing. Uh, nothing but upgrades and economy out of the enemy so far, so we're gonna be all right. Camera location hotkey is still not functional. And here, and get rid of this. I right, just convert that, that way we can get money off of it. Thank you. 
and do this. All right, so now we got a lot of mines. We've got a decent amount of energy income, at least sufficient to continue on. We need the factory in order to build this guy in particular. So go ahead and put him right over here. Uh, probably want to cover these up. Getting getting those those uh, particular structures are kind of expensive and important. They cost a lot to repair, so you don't want to have to spend time repairing them. Any time is repairing them is bad time. I'm going to put you down here. Cover you up with some cheap to repair material. Very good. Repair you. Move you out here. Much better. Just like so. I need to sell these guys off. Good. And sell this. And then sell all this. And sell this. I've got an upgrade center going. Thank you go away. Thank you. Sell this. And then bring this all right now we can bring this down all the way down meet up with the other side at the bottom I didn't build out here thank you cross and nice perfect plan isn't that great how that works all right cannon will go there let us see Lots of wood. I generally don't like building this much wood this early on because it doesn't doesn't help you get things faster. You want you want to build things that return your investment in some manner. Okay, that's gone forever. Let's connect this down here first, like so. Much better. Okay, and up we go. Okay, so we need how much? Things. We need 2,500 metal and then 30,000 energy. So we need another one, two, three. And that'll give us a nice safe amounts and lots of you all over, all over you. Now let's see, we're at four and a half minutes, so we can pretty much start getting hit by heavy weapons, which I am not prepared for at all. So I'm going to do that right now. As well, they haven't exposed anything. Um, they also haven't done anything that says they're not Russian cannons. Well, they're obviously not Russian cannons because they haven't been hit by it yet, but they haven't done anything that says that they're not going to be firing at us with cannons pretty early on. So we're good. Okay. Good. Good. Next step. Uh, more batteries, actually, is the next step because we don't have enough batteries. And then the step after that will be waiting, and waiting a lot for metal income. Right, so we needed 30,000 battery. Go here and here and come on. I actually need more batteries than this. Okay, there we go. That should be sufficient. There and there and do I want to have a s Nah, that's fine. That'll be enough. Because it doesn't take that much to fire. Okay, that'll give us a nice, nice, safe amount so we don't have to worry about floating too much. I definitely... Ooh. You know, I could have built this out of a, a triangle design rather than the square design. It does better for structural support. Which is kind of the major concern when dealing with these BFGs. Or BFCs. It's a BFG in my brain, but it's called a BFC. I guess you can wonder why. Uh, I don't see swarm missiles out of them. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't see anything that's terribly concerning about swarm missiles, so we should be okay. Uh, but I do have to defend this against heavy weapons. Do I want to try building a sniper? And upgrade these, though. Get additional metal. That'll pay off sooner or later, because we're going to have to spend a lot of rent money here pretty quickly oh well, this is gonna delay us for a moment oh uh one of the enemies has disconnected well that's unfortunate uh well i guess we'll have a pretty oh looks like it's top or bottom has disconnected so i don't have to worry about that anymore oh well i guess i gotta angle this gun somehow to aim at the top uh, that's not gonna be great yeah how does one... which method am I going to use to angle this? 
so that should fit on that. Now the real question is, will the gun fit there? I need more energy income. That's what's going on here. Okay. Let's start investing. Is he made his gun for swarm missiles? Oh, he's going for a lot of swarm missiles. Oh, dear. Uh, the enemy's going to have a hard time dealing with that. Is this going to be good enough? I think this will be good enough for the BFG. Or BFC. Alright, all we need is... Uh, all we need is the energy now. I should invest in some more turbines. Do what I should do. Oh dear. Alright, teammates having a real bad time right now. Real bad time right now. Alright, come on. Come on. I just need to place this. Is this going to be good, a good enough angle? Or am I going to have to fold tier 3 this? Oh god, it won't place there. Uh, oh dear, oh my. What kind of angle can you be placed at? It's a, a, no way, it's just perfect. I, okay, sell this. It's, it's too close too to the line. Teammate, please don't die. I haven't even placed the BFC yet. Come on. Is that good enough? Oh dear, that's not actually good enough. Um, Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to have to T3 this. Uh, but not actually pure T3 this. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Like so. Like so. Do this. Do this. Put you here. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. This is going to be a rough one and a half. Alright, so that's down. Oh dear, I cannot let this snap. Alright, come on. Alright. Alright, um... I shouldn't have started flat one more. Okay, so I need to redo this now. Like so. Like so. Right, come on, select it. Come on, select it, thank you. Sell this. Sell this. There we go, we're selling off the braces behind, that way I can continue rotating this up. Activate commander ability. Now, will that be good enough? I really hope that'll be good enough. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be good enough. And now, I need to... Oh, dear. This is a very large weapon. Okay. I don't actually know the size of this thing. I, I don't... Hmm. How big are you? Ah! I don't have a highlight that I could work with. But it's not, not good enough. I need to build door here, perhaps? Will that will that do it? Maybe? I don't think that'll do it. Alright, I just need to protect this just a little bit. Just have a little bit of protection on it. Poor teammate is getting walloped. Activate commander ability for bonus speed. Oh dear, Co teammate's getting walloped! Oh dear, oh my, this is not ideal. Um, let's do this. This is horribly, horribly designed. Forts are not meant to be like this. Okay, I can I can get Snipey out and just solve our problems. So let me let me do that. Snipey, save the day, please. You've done excellent work in your life. I need you to come in clutch again. Keep teammate alive, and I hope I don't have to. T I, don't, I hope I don't have to rotate this anymore. Let's prepare to rotate it more, just in case we have to. Let's go ahead and select you. Right, select you. Get rid of this. Select you. That sounds so bad. Hmm. Activate commander. Oh, he's got repair bays in front. He's trying so hard to survive. Okay, Snipey. Time to do some work. He has cannons, which is not great. Uh. Cannons not notoriously vulnerable to snipers. But they are reloaded. He's got double doored. This player on this other team is, uh, is he's rearing to do some damage. Alright, come on. One. Aim for the middle one. Two. Okay, got it. 
That'll slow down the pain a little bit. Activate commander ability for build speed. Ooh, and the fire took out the second. Will the fire take the third as well? Look at Snipey doing his work. Ah, uh, that's what I want to see. And this should pretty much finish up this guy. I just hope I don't have to rotate him anymore, because I don't know if I could get away with it. I really need to get rid of this. There we go. There we go. That'll do nicely. Okay, let me just preemptively do this. Now, um, herein lies the problem. The recoil of this guy on a tier 3 setup like this is pretty much guaranteed to blow this guy away. Um, I don't know if I can actually do something to stop that from, from just working that way. Let's go ahead and sell this. There you go, so just, I didn't get those doors right. Like, I'm going to try to stabilize this, but I think this can is just gone. We're going to get one shot out of it. One shot only. So let's do it. Oh! Oh! Oh, that looked nice. I need to see that in the replay. <laughs> he's trying to armor up his core and die, buddy. Buddy, that's not going to save you. I am sorry. There is nothing that will save you from this gun. Alright, um... I need metal on you. Yeah, now at this point... Uh, I'm not gonna bother with doors, because... During this mechanism... This... Oblique monstrosity is... Gonna be... Horrendous. And I don't wanna deal with it. But I think my teammate may just finish it here with these swarm missiles. He's finally got enough breathing room... To, uh to actually send off a shot. Unfortunately, he took out his own sniper, so he can't can't fire again for a moment. And my uh, my BFC is is almost ready. <laughs> he's trying so hard to oh, he's trying so hard to armor up. But I've got a beautiful angle on him here. And unfortunately, this node is like right in front of this gun, so I can't put doors on it. I got to redesign the whole thing. It's just kind of unfortunate. But I, I just, I, I really want to see this hit a base. I'm just, I'm not even going to aim for the weak point. I just want to send this straight through the front. And just, just end it. Because this is, this is going to be brutal. Okay. Alright, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Alright, guys. Well... That has been the BFC, and I think we need to try out this cannon on adamantium. So for now, have a good one, and if you guys want to see how this unstoppable cannon winds up faring off against the, uh, well, indestructible armor, make sure to hit that subscribe button, because we're going to have more shenanigans coming out soon. But for now, have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.